Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to ME4 or Material Energy Hypercubed. Uh, Parcel just released this on the Feed the Beast launcher. It's still in beta form. It's out of alpha, moved into beta, so we're in version 0.5.0. Uh, but now it's open. You can go grab it. It's in the third party pack section on the Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, you're going to need a lot of memory to run it because you use a lot of mods. But other than that, it's you can go play it. So go get it. Uh, because of that, I started over, but I've caught back up to where we were. Um, the only thing that's going to be a little different is, you know, the quest reward bags gave me some different items, so I might have a few different tools. So you can see, like, I have a flint rapier, flint metoc, necrotic axe, and I still have the same pickaxe there. But everything else pretty much is the same. Um, I've cleared out the inclusion chamber. I went and got all the compressed stuff and uh, moved everything over here again. So we got that going. I've got this uh, silver battle sign, and it was awesome while it was working, but it broke, and now it needs silver. <laughs> so I can't really use it. Well, I don't know. When I had it equipped, it says durability is zero. Now, oh, it repaired itself. Oh, okay, never mind. So I can use it. So cool. I've got that. Um, I had a kind of a question of what like tools should I use because we don't have a lot of stuff available at the beginning we really have no ore at all until we get to miner's delight um, so your best things to use are bone flint and uh, cactus because all those are really easy to get uh, bones simple you just go down to the biosphere and kill skeletons and I'll show you the mob farm that I've got set up there for that um, cactus you can grow it just grows right on this uh, soil so you can go harvest the cactus. You also do paper, um, but paper's not the best because we really don't have any modifiers that we can add. We have a little bit of redstone that we got in the red whim, so we could add some speed modifiers if we really wanted to. Um, but I think we need to conserve our redstone. So you can do paper if you want. Wooden you, tools, as always, you can just make wooden tools. Those are simple, but we're going to make better stuff. So if you're making a weapon, I would just cactus. Cactus has the highest damage modifier on the main piece. So you're like your sword, you know, don't make the hilt out of the cactus. Make that out of wood or better yet, flint um, or bone, that kind of stuff. And tools make out of flint and bone. They're the best that way. So these are ones I just got from quest rewards, but I probably would have ended up making something very similar um, with the flint and the bone and the cactus. So that's what I'd advise starting out with until you get more minerals. Okay, so this guy's done. Let's go unload him. Um, oops, there we go. So jump you out of there. Put you back in, and let's load up the inclusion. I uh, know I'm the biosphere one more time, as I'll just show you what I did with that. Um, I was kind of at a kind of thinking, why would I want to go to the bottom of the biosphere? I mean, I know I don't go to the very bottom, the Certus Quartz and the uh, Gelid is down there, but why under underneath the main area would I want to go down here? Um, because the biosphere itself, you see, I've completely cleared out. I'm not going to have this guy loaded the whole time, so all of my stuff is not going to be growing. So that's why I've moved all my farms back to the main area. This one I've got some spawned animals, um, and you can see there's grass pads here. If we look at the biome, it's plains. So that's pretty much one of the only reasons you still need the biosphere loaded, is to generate animals in the plains. And I probably am going to come back and add a lot of dirt here that can grow into grass and spawn animals for me. Um, so far, I've only had horses and rams spawn. I haven't seen anything else. No cows, no chickens, no sheep, no anything else. Um, but now I've got two rams. I could breed them. I don't know, are those two males? <laughs> Is that part of this? Anyway, um, so for this playthrough to catch up really quick, I did the same thing where I just went right down the middle um, and blocked out these doors really quick before any mobs can get in. And then I went down this ladder, and if you look at this right here, these blocks change. They're kind of like different blocks. Go right under them and kind of build it yourself a little room here, and then dig out in four cardinal directions. You can see it goes all the way to the end. So you could make a hallway all the way through, and then just have a mob farm. <laughs> you know, a really easy way to make a mob Whoa! That creeper blew up. Anyway, a really easy way to make a mob farm. You gotta watch out for the skeletons and the baby zombies, of course, but I wish they would stop fighting each other and just come up here. 
But anyway, you could do something like put a block here, and then you could just kill him here. Oh, he's gonna blow. But you can see now. Oh, there's a baby. <laughs> this flint rapier does a really nice job. Um, but the necrotic also does really nice because it kills any undead thing very quickly. Oh, and I just got a uh, one modifier, an extra additional modifier. So yeah, so I've basically got a mob farm here. Um, I forgot to bring it, but I used the uh, magnet when I was farming here earlier. That's a really good thing to have because the mob drops kind of don't really flow very well. And you could put, you know, thing like half slabs here so they can't actually see you. You could dress this up like a really nice mob farm, but that's kind of how I, I tackled this. You can see I put some light down too so that there's some light there. Not as many will spawn. Um, and I've got it on all directions here. This one's a little bit more dangerous because the skeletons can see you from a long way away. These are the better ones because you can just kind of block really easy. So that's that. Um, again, why would we want to go out here? Well, you know how I was talking about the animals spawning above? If you light up every source that a mob can spawn on down here, then you'll not get any um, hostile mobs spawning. And I believe, I could be wrong, but vanilla mechanics in Minecraft would say if hostile mobs can't spawn, then you have a better chance of getting passive mobs. That's what I've noticed anyway, because in the first playthrough, before I switched to the Feed the Beast launcher version, I completely lit up that entire area down there just with some suicide torch runs. Did I just look at him? Kind of. He's not mad. He's just yelling. <laughs> anyway, I, I lit up the entire area, and once I did that, I was getting like 10 horses in this area really fast, so I think that's you know maybe the one of the good reasons to attempt to go down there and light that up. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, the other thing as part of this update is we should have all of the statues um, now loaded. So if you remember, we found the cow was underneath um, in the level down below here. Um, he was right there. And then we've also got the skeleton, the zombie, and the spider. Now I'm going to go find some more. And I have a feeling... I know where they are. <laughs> but let's start in the chemistry area. Oh, let's go to the reactor. Um, actually, I know where one in the reactor is. I know where two in the reactor are because I found them earlier. Um, if you pillar up here, just nerd pole here, there is a witch here. Uh, don't click on the witch or this happens. <laughs> it's dark. Anyway, there's our witch. And then I'd like to get up to the top of this tower as well. Let's just make staircase look better. Okay. If we remember ME3, most of the um, hidden quests were up on top of the general areas. And you can see here we've got the silverfish. Okay. Now... I wouldn't advise trying to climb up that. That's going to be way too difficult. Um, but let's look around here a little bit. Down here, we've got nothing. Over here. No, I was thinking one might be right there, but nope. Nothing there. Um, if you look hard enough, you probably can't see it in YouTube, but we're inside a gigantic sphere of something. <laughs> I think it's Skyrock or something. Um, nothing there as well. Okay. But anyway, um, I'm not sure you can get to the top of it. <laughs> I don't have enough blocks to pillar that high up, so I'm not going to try that. So let's go over to the chemistry area, I think. We'll have some more. Spatial I.O. Observatory. Chem lab. There we go. So we know the one that we found here was all the way at the top, um, but let's go look even higher if we go yeah let me just pillar up again and get up on top of this thing do we have one up here there we go blaze cool there is the blaze and that was be a this is your probably your tallest level to get up to the very top of this thing so that's where I would advise making your staircase up here oops Hopefully I've got enough blocks. I think I should. 
And you can just learn pull and make a stare either way. Yeah. No, don't lose that one. I need that one. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Just good enough. Okay. So in the center of this one, we've got the creeper. And we're on now on top of the big inclusion chamber or whatever the, uh, the uh, spatial I.O. area. Okay. And then if we go over here, what's down here? That's the the where we already been. I don't see any others down there. It's on this side. All right, over here we have the Victory Monument area, and we've got the normal spider. I think the cave spider is the one we found before. So I'm just going to jump. Only took two arts. <laughs> so let's do the cave spider, and then we can just jump down here. Cool. That was a bunch. Let's go look how many we completed. Five more. Sweet. So this gives us a quest bag. This one gives us uh, two potions, strength and poison, a quest bag. Cool. Blaze Trophy gives us 10 Blaze Spawners. Wow, that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, Silverfish, we just get a bag. And Creeper, we get a bag. Sweet. All right, so let's uh, open some of these. Daylight Sensor, Moon Sensor, and Blood Moon Sensor. Interesting. I don't no idea what I would use those for. Oh, well. Um... Five semi-stable nuggets. We got those before. We know what those are. Golden lassos. We got mini me's for watchful slowpoke, Captain Nana, T Fox, and Gideon Seymour. You know, that's cool and all to get the mini me's, but the lassos are the coolest part. So let's build a pen. Can I get some fence posts? Maybe. Come on, any I think. Let's build some fences. That should be enough. And we'll just put the mini me's over here. We don't want to leave, let them out because they will pick us up and carry us off. <laughs> so here, that was Seymour. Golden Gideon Seymour. This one. Whoa, he's got a cool little suit. T Fox. Uh, Captain Nana panda bear there and uh this guy watchful this is kind of like a black little box guy and then we've got uh what's his name <laughs> oh my goodness um slowpoke goodness why could i not remember that but now we've got five golden lassos so you know what i'm gonna do with them i'm gonna come in here and capture my sheep put them in a pen oh we gotta spawn there there So now I can take these out of here and I don't have to have this loaded to have some of these animals. Come here. You too. You can see now horses are spawning. Just putting a little bit of light down there has allowed the mobs, you know, cap rate to not be reached and allowed some other things to spawn. Okay, we got Sea Whisket. <laughs> Let's see what's in this bag. Oh my goodness, three more! Biffa, Generic Bee, and Zuma. I know Biffa and Generic B were given like way early copies. I think they were the first YouTubers allowed to stream or make YouTube videos of this map. So well, I guess we'll put them in here too. Oh no, that's that's Seabiscuit. Wrong one. There's Biffa. That's Seabiscuit. <laughs> wow, interesting. I don't think Biffa ever really shows his skin in third person, so I've never seen it before. Generic B. Hi, Generic. <laughs> and Zuma. I haven't zoom seen Zuma do a uh, playthrough on the map yet, so I'm not sure why he has a mini me. Just a YouTuber. So we got FTB team and YouTube t YouTubers. And wow, we have so many golden lassos. This is awesome. Um, should we build a different pen? Yeah, I think we'll have a different pen for our animals. Why am I not in the crafting one? Oh, here we go. We can put them... Yeah, we'll just put them all next to it. Why are you... Goodness, sea biscuit. <laughs> Learn to not go in a wall. 
normal horse and a normal ram. Wild sheep. There we go. Can we breed those sheep? And carrot or horses? So let's take two horses. Let's take two ca uh, wheat. Where's my wheat? Oh, I think I turned it all into bread. Any of it ready for harvest? No. I've got carrots, potatoes, and a bunch of wheat here. Doesn't grow very fast, but I know I can get some more real easy. Uh, we got uh, fertilizer. This fertilizer is... Can I make it into like a fertilizer bag? I thought there was a way to make like a bag that fertilized a lot of area at once, but maybe I'm thinking of a different mod pack. Okay, that's all we need really. Um, seeds. Okay. So let's give it a try and see if we can feed these guys. Do you guys want some instable nuggets? <laughs> um, here we go. Carrots. You want a carrot? No? No? Okay. They don't want carrots. Anyone want sheep? Or wheat? Yeah, you want some wheat. And you want some wheat. Go make a baby. I wish to make, see if they make a wild sheep. Yeah, they did make a wild sheep. Okay. Cool. Where I've got I've got a wool supply there now, which is awesome. Let's put a bunch of this stuff in here. Okay. So we go put those. I want to see if there's a few more actually that we can get. Uh, where we haven't looked is down in the original area, in the reflection pool. Um, let's go up on top. Oh, did I? I didn't bring any bricks. I do have ladders though. Okay. So we'll come out to the side here. Now we're, I think we're pretty close to the bottom of the um, area, whatever, this big giant sphere that we're in. Oh, now water's going to drain down. Not if I put a ladder here, right? Okay, cool. Oh, I can't put one on glass. Oh, there we go. Um, do I have like one block? No, I don't. All right, anything here? No, nothing here. It's just water. Let's take a look around the sphere. There's like a hole. Do you see that? You guys probably can't see it. YouTube. It's <laughs> too. You probably see a different color, but there's a hole in the world over there. There's got to be something down here. I mean, there's t way too many more statues to not be something. There's bats flying around. Huh. Nothing. Oh, we got some. Whoa, what's that? I don't know what that is. Um, how am I gonna get down? I can probably get down. I'll just break this water here. There we go. That's a way to get down. Um, some weird kind of block there, like a chisel block. Whoa, the bottom. This is glass, right? <laughs> okay, this is glass. Okay, that's a little scary. Let's put the pick away just in case. Uh, we got it. One there, and I want to see what this is. Uh, looks like some kind of chisel block. It is gold. Nice. If I get one iron ingot, look how much gold I'm going to have. Holy crap. They've each got like weird panels on the bottom of them, too. All right, this is obsidian, so I guess you. Oh, there's the cat. Cool. I guess you can't get out of this world until you have a better pickaxe that can break obsidian. But judging by that glass pit there, there is nothing under us. <laughs> so probably not the best thing to do to break through this. However, I do want to check this hole out right here. We are in what kind of biome? A mushroom island. Okay. So does that mean if I put some grass down, I would get mushrooms to spawn, right? Yeah, I would. All right, <laughs> that is really weird. Just part of the sphere is just missing. Okay, wow, let's not die. <laughs> well, that looks pretty cool. You can see the whole room. Oh, there's something under it. You see that? Something down at the bottom. There might be something there too. Oh no, that's just the elevator block, but I don't know what that thing underneath it is. I will have to go check that out at some point. Ooh, we're almost starving to death. 
Okay, well, I think we found, what, 11 of the these guys now? Oh, this is dangerous. Don't break the glass. Don't let him fall. Good. Whew. And I'm not seeing any others. Kind of like that area with the gold blocks. Oh, I missed one. How did I miss one? Sacre bleu. I have missed one. Name that movie. Okay. Let's get this last gold block. I do not want to just leave it here because gold is pretty valuable here. What are these things on the bottom? Flat lamps. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, looks like we are going to be forced to swim up the waterfall again because I can't get under there. Oops, swim up. Come on, swim up. Up we go. Up we go. There we go. All right. Um, I don't know where else to look for um, statues other than underneath the main thing. Maybe we can get a better view here now that we're taller. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Could break into here, maybe. Well, let's just go to the top. That'll take forever. Hmm. Okay, now we can see. There is... Yeah, just something weird at the bottom there. And like a power cable or some kind of cable there? Do you think that's maybe where the... Oh, that's just the spatial I.O. here. Oh, okay. That must be where the Tesseract is. It's coming in there to power it. That's what the Tesseract is powering. Okay, I am too lazy to swim over there, so I'm just going to break a block here. Made a mess. <laughs> okay, well, he's he's stumped me as far as where the other ones are going to be. Honestly, I just don't know. Villager claim. Kitty Trent claim. So we haven't found the zombie, the bat, the chicken, or the sheep. No spoilers, guys, but if you want to give me clues, maybe I'll take those. They've got to be somewhere, but... All right, let's head over to the Victory Monument, put these there, and then see if we can go check out... Come on, Victory Monument, where are you? Um, see if we can go check out... Oh, Wild Stream. Cool. <sighs> go check out Miner's Delight. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, Spider... Kitty, I'm putting good ones over here. Bad ones over here. What do you do? Ah! Caught me on fire. Do you give me an emerald? Meow. Hey, I got some leather. <laughs> cool. Ah. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, that was really not a good one. And you shoot an arrow, right? <laughs> Alright, don't click on the poison spider. Okay, into spatial I.O. Let's put that, we can put uh, Wild's Dream in here. And let's grab out Biosphere. And put in the Miner's Delight. Okay. Now let's go up to the observatory. And we need to get everything ready. Put that in there. I've got one more bag to open up. Leadstone Flux. Oh, I've, I've had that one before. Cool. Just in the other playthrough. Okay. Um, let's do get the magnet. Um, I was able to charge it with a flux capacitor here. So you want to not only shift-click this to turn it on, but then hold the magnet in your hand. You can see now that I'm holding the magnet, it is charging. So that's the p part I missed last time. So we're halfway full. That's great. I want to see how... Well, let's go ahead and use this whole thing. Come on. Use it all up. Oops, I've got to actually... Hold this thing. I just wanted to to empty that flux guy so I can see how fast this magnet drains. Um, oh, trigger. Anyway, so... Didn't load. What happened? What did I miss? Did I not hit the button? Hmm. 
Yeah, so if we look out here... I'm worried about, like, breaking something, but I know there's a cable coming in here. Where's the cable? Underneath, maybe? <laughs> there... Okay, that's... I've been watching a few people play this map, and they're confused why... When they push the button, the output goes back in the input. This is why, because the there's a transfer node to stick it back in. That's funny. It would be good to put a uh, a thing down here, because I can't see under it. Where's this thing getting power from? I don't know. Huh. I, I just can't see... I'm like straining my head here on my monitor to see if there's anything under there. Anyway, okay. Let's get back out of here. That's not gonna work. And since we now hit the button, it's loaded. Please tell me it's not corrupt. Okay, good. So mobs, as I look, um, talked about before, cannot get through the ineffable glass. So you see they're just gonna build up here. This kind of creates a problem because you're going to get a wall of mobs here after a while. The easiest way to do it is just kind of peek through and hit them. <laughs> like just let your weapon go through. doesn't quite work on the spiders because they melee, but on this ranged attack where they've got to draw their bow a little bit before they can hit you, works great. All right, the spider I can just kill. And we want to get some lights here pretty close. I do not like having that witch right there. Oh, great. Just always retreat if you need to retreat. <laughs> okay, let's turn the magnet on now that this is completely empty, right? Yep. So you turn off, you turn on. How fast does this drain? So slow. Okay, good. And it's funny because they, they walked to the last time, place they saw you. <laughs> so I just kind of like... Now that's a soul, apparently, when you kill mobs, sometimes their soul flies around. Alright, did the witch go away, or at least fall down, I hope? Alright, here comes some mobs. Oh goodness. <laughs> this is my landing, I must defend it. You cannot come up. Don't shoot till you see the whites in their eyes, or the blacks is black, blacks in their eyes. The hollow of their eyes? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so you come and wait till they go over there, and then you hit them from this side. Alright, we've defended our area. Alright, um... Okay, so I talked about this before, but anyway, we're going to have to mine out all this. I mean, light it up and then mine it out. But if you look at it, a lot of this stuff is what they call poor ore. That means it gives you a nugget. Like, let's look in here. There's this thing called poor ores. So, like, poor coal. If you mine that, you don't get coal from it. You get a coal nugget, which you then must have to combine with nine coal nuggets to make a coal or some cobblestone. Oh, well, that's a seven sufficient coal. Interesting. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but like poor diamond, oh, let's see, poor emeralds. I know there's poor emeralds in there. I gotta take nine of them to make one emerald. Same thing with iron. So, yeah, that's gonna take a lot of mining um, to get anywhere at all. <laughs> and my pick is gonna break. So I probably wanna focus on the iron so I can get um, an iron pick. I think I have an iron pick, don't I? Yeah, but I'll need to be... Uh, Need to repair it with some iron. Let's see. Uh, I could probably turn you off. Um, what else? The ore finder. I wanted to look at that thing because I've never used this before. I want to see what it does. And of course, things are at my wall again. Hey, I think auto repairs now. Nice. That's cool. Auto repair two. Wow. This thing's gonna repair quick. Yeah. Oh, you tried to shoot me.
Drop your epic bow. Ah, oh, did I see the Enderman? I'm not touching Enderman. Ah, oh, golden guy. Dude, I'm trying to see the ore finder here. Ice. Right, two hits plus the fall damage on him. Ha <laughs> ha! Did I just break this guy? Yeah, I broke him. Get that with the necrotic. Alright, so anyway, ore finder. Dense or iron or copper or poor coal, poor emerald, and yellow right. So all I can see on the top is the poor stuff, except for the yellow right, which I'm not sure I can even mine. I cannot. I need something better to mine that. But based on this thing, it says there's dense iron somewhere. So I think I must need to dig down to get access to better ores. So I think what I'm going to do... I might start it now, finish it off camera, and then show you guys the next one. But let's get some carrots or something. Um, is get some material, like maybe this bit block. And make kind of like a wall. Kind of like the last and uh, the, the biosphere had. It had like stairs to get down. I think I want to make a wall so these guys can't get me. Oh gosh, they just keep spawning. I might have to take a suicide torch run to get <laughs> a few more torches out there. Ah, there's too many! Oh, I'm hitting them with the broken thing. That's why I'm not killing them. I forgot to repair that. Good thing that's not on hard difficulty, right? Oh, don't hit me that way. <laughs> if they hit me that way, I'm in trouble. Okay. Alright, as I was saying earlier, if I build some kind of wall here so they can't get in. And then... Started making a staircase down. And hopefully that'll allow us to get to the good stuff. Oh. And not have to deal with mobs. Right? <laughs> Remember this map has no rules, right? You're allowed to do whatever you want to help yourself out. Oh, and I get to that, so we're going to have to make a turn here. It's fine, it was kind of already built into the map. And I'm going to fill in these holes because baby zombies would be able to get to me. Nice a little lantern right there built into the thing. And I'm just hoping this doesn't open up into a big area because then I wouldn't be able to get through much. Should probably eat some carrots. Oh, I have to go past the yellow right. Oh, I found a nice yellow right vein. Whoop. Okay, that was just a lantern. Scared me. Let's make another turn here. Okay, here we are. Yeah. Okay, I'm still not seeing any dents that I was looking for. Let's see if we can make a staircase without dying here. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, both of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's just waiting for me to come. Oh, skeleton. Ah, oh, that's his poisonous skeleton. Shoot the creeper. There. Oops. Nope, 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 not good. Oh. Oh, that's a wither skeleton. Oh, goodness. He withered me. Ah, too many. No way. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. 
<laughs> Can we get a light down there? All right, so we are down. No, there's, oh, look at all that dense stuff. I think we're getting close, guys. I can see some normal ore, like some tin maybe. So I think we're getting a lot better than digging around this crap at the top. I don't even want to waste my time with that. <laughs> maybe when I have a quarry, I'll worry about this. But for now, I'm not going to dig this. Uh, but I think at this point, we're going to go ahead and end this episode. We went pretty long. And we'll come back next time and work our way further down in the ore area. And now there's spider up here, of course. Until next time, guys, if you liked the episode, please hit that like button. It really helps my channel grow and allows me to make more, more content more often. And subscribe if you're not already. Until then, this has been Funshine X for Material Energy Hydro Cubed. See you guys next time. Bye.